So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to go over three interesting PlayStation 5 stories. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to everyone that does it. And as always, I very much appreciate it. Now, the stories I want to cover today focus on PlayStation 5 restock chaos that recently went down, PlayStation's first title from PlayStation Studios coming to Xbox with a reveal happening today, and PlayStation fans are calling for refunds. First, let me know if at this point you've managed to get a PlayStation 5 or not. I haven't asked this question in a while, and it obviously relates to one of the stories we're going to cover today, but I'm curious if people, if more people have managed to get the console at this point, considering how many times I've seen the console being restocked so comment below do you have a playstation 5 at this point or not let me know down in the comments below now diving into the first story of the video playstation's first game coming to xbox with a reveal happening today so for those who don't know back in 2019 this happened reading from the official mlb twitter account major league baseball the major league baseball players association sony interactive entertainment and sony san diego studio jointly announced today that they have entered into multi-year extensions to continue development and distribution of MLB The Show, the award-winning, officially licensed video game. In addition, the historic expansion of the long-standing partnership will bring MLB The Show for the first time ever to additional console platforms beyond PlayStation platforms as early as 2021. We also had Nintendo and Xbox both retweeting MLB's account back in 2019 and this all basically confirmed that the game was coming to Nintendo and Xbox platforms in 2021. Recent leaks have revealed the Xbox bo box art for the game and today a reveal is going down for the game itself. Reading from the Complex Twitter account, the cover athlete of the next MLB The Show gets unveiled and interviewed tomorrow on Hot Ones. The leaked cover art for the game has already revealed it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Hopefully I said that name correctly, but if you're a fan of the franchise and want to see this interview today, then check it out on Hot Ones. I wouldn't be surprised if we get more information in regards to the platforms and how this is all going to work out. But for me, it's still crazy that a PlayStation Studios title is coming to other platforms. But again, I'm sure this happened because, because Sony would rather produce the game and keep using the license, the IP, than lose it to another studio or another publisher. Sony San Diego has been the dedicated MLB The Show studio, so it would have been a big loss if the MLB Association decided to take the license somewhere else if Sony refused to develop for other platforms. So this was the inevitable outcome in the end. But let me know how you feel about MLB The Show coming to Xbox. Do you care? Do you not? Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the second story of the video, PS5 refunds are being called for. Reading from PlayStation Universe, players on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 have called on 505 games to offer refunds for Control Ultimate Edition after the game was announced for PlayStation Plus yesterday, just a few weeks after it was slashed in price for the PlayStation Store's January sale. First reported by Eurogamer, fans on Twitter have been replying to Remedy tweets saying they bought the game recently during that sale and feel like their purchase was wasted. This comes on top of the fact that fans have had to buy the game twice if they wanted the base game and wanted to play it on PlayStation 5 as only the Ultimate Edition offers a free upgrade. So. This was definitely a big shocker for me to see the Ultimate Edition of Control on PlayStation Plus considering the whole fiasco of needing to buy the Ultimate Edition of the game to get the PlayStation or Xbox Series X upgrade of Control. I personally didn't buy the Ultimate Edition because I wasn't going to rebuy a game that I supported and bought day one, but it sucks that others have bought the Ultimate Edition in order to get the PlayStation 5 upgrade and this for me is another prime example that Sony needs to change their refund policy. It's ridiculous considering other companies allow you to refund a game after two hours of play while Sony won't even let you download the game. I hope people can get a refund for the Ultimate Edition considering it's on PlayStation Plus this month and here I'm obviously referring to those that bought the game recently. And now diving into the final story of the video, the PS5 stock chaos. Reading from PlayStation Universe, speaking from my own experience, helping friends here in Japan and back in America get the console, the PlayStation 5 remains difficult to get a hold of across the globe. Even after the holiday season, demand is still running high for Sony 
Sony's latest console. This morning, a chaotic crowd of people formed at the massive landmark Akihabara Tokyo location of Yorobashi Camera, one of the biggest electronics retail chains in Japan, all over a restock of the PlayStation 5. In Japan, nearly all retailers are selling the PlayStation 5 by random raffle lottery or chinsen in Japanese. The system is used for rare consumer items, consoles, electronics, collectibles, etc., and tickets to concerts and events. Recently, most Yodabashi locations started requiring consumers to have the retailer's credit card to purchase a PlayStation 5, yet another tactic to stop resellers from getting multiple consoles. However, the Akihabara Tokyo location is one of the few that still does not require the Yodabashi credit card, making it a popular PlayStation 5 drop spot for both gamers and scalpers. So with the history of dropping the PS5 on weekends, a crowd began to form outside the store this morning before open. As soon as a Yodobashi employee came out with an estimated few hundred tickets to purchase the PlayStation 5, mayhem erupted as, as customers began crowding. Packed like sardines to be one of the lucky soon-to-be PlayStation 5 owners, people began shouting, pushing, and shoving one another. A scary sight to see in the middle of a pandemic, with Tokyo being one of the Japanese metro areas under a current state of emergency. The pandemonium became so chaotic, the Tokyo police thankfully were called in to quell the situation, and the selling of all the PlayStation 5 ca uh, consoles was completely cancelled. So this is crazy for me to see. You'd think that in-store sales like this wouldn't happen in this point in time. It's not like the PlayStation 5 is hard to sell. I'm not familiar with how things work in Tokyo, so if someone knows better, of course, please let me know in the comments below. But this should have stayed an online-only thing, with CV still being a big situation across the globe. It's good that the police came in and cancelled the whole thing. I hope the store rethinks how they're going to sell the PlayStation 5 going forward, but you guys let me know if you think PlayStation 5 sales should be online only or in store as well. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with bring on the PS5s. Obviously, we need more PlayStation 5s in stock for this whole situation to become more stable. So even if you have a PlayStation 5 already, hopefully you want others to be able to get the PlayStation 5 as well. And if you don't have the PlayStation 5, hopefully you do get one. So in either situation destroy the comment section with bring on the ps5s and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one